Hi there guys, welcome to this video on significant figures. Now this is another type of rounding, so like nearest 10, 100, decimal places, but this is actually the most common type when you reach a certain level in mathematics. But what do we mean by the word significant figure? So let's have a look at some examples and it's really simple and you should get it. So here we have 5,832. Well, when I look at the 5, I can see that that is in the thousands column. So I know this number is in the thousands. And then I've got the hundreds, the tens, and the units. So that 5 has a very significant role in telling me the size of this number. So this is the first significant figure. Then we have the second, and then we have the third, and then we have the fourth. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, I can see this is 6.37. Now, this is telling me that I have some units. I can see there's no 10, so I know exactly what type, what the size this number is. So 6 is playing a significant role. So that's the first significant figure. That's the second. Oop. And this is the third significant figure. Okay, so you might just be thinking, well, that's just all the numbers. That's pretty easy. But when we look at these ones, this this zero point here, well, all I know from looking at this column is there isn't any units, but I don't actually know anything about the size. All I know is it's going to be less than one. But that's not enough. Like here, I can, I can see straight away there's five one thousand. I know how big this number is. This zero doesn't give me any indication of the size of this number whatsoever. It's not until I look at the next column I get to see. So this is the first significant figure here. Then this is the second, third, and fourth. As soon as you have one, all the rest are significant. So for this one, this zero, it doesn't really tell me anything about the size of this number. Nor does this one. It, it tells me a little bit. I know it's going to be pretty small. right? And when we go over to here, same thing. But it's not until I reach this column that I start to get an understanding of just how small this number is. So this is the first significant figure. Then we have the second and the third. Okay, so that's all you have to really understand. So let's put it in some words. So the first significant figure must not be a zero. It can't be a zero. It's not telling us enough information to be considered significant enough. But it can be significant. So, for example, if we go 5,092, the 5 is the first, the 0 is the second, because it is playing a significant role now. You know, if I, if I can, it tells me about the number, if, if, if I ignore it, I have 592. So you can see it has a very important role in the size of this number. So it can't be the first, but as soon as you have a significant figure, zeros then play an important part. So that's the third and this is the fourth. Okay, so let's have a look at these. So round two, one significant figure. So I'm just going to write the number again every single time. So just pop these on quickly. So one significant figure, we've got to identify the first. Okay, three is not a zero, so that means it's significant. So we're rounding to this column. We look next door, that tells me to round down, which we know now means stay the same. So that 3 isn't going to change. Common mistake, believe it or not, people say 3,475. That's roughly 3, isn't it? Of course it's not. So we still have to round it to this column. So for this particular example, rounding to one sig fig is the same as rounding to the nearest 1,000. So we add on our zeros to preserve the place value, the size of the number. Just use a bit of common sense. You can't say 3,475 is roughly 3. Okay, to two significant figures, we're looking at this column because once we have the first, all the others are significant as well. So look at this column and then look next door. So because we're rounding to this column, it's pretty safe to put this 3 here. Unless this is a 9 and we're going to round it up, then you, you know we have to carry. But you can quickly see that it's not going to be that problem. So you can write the 3, it's not really being affected. The 4 is the column we're rounding to. Are we going to round up or round down? The 7 means we're going to round up. So this becomes a 5.
Once again, you can't say 3,475 is roughly 35. It makes no sense. So if you have any other columns, we're just going to preserve them by adding the placeholders in here. So 3,475 is very close to 3,500. Okay, to three significant figures, we're looking at this column here. And 5 is telling me to round up. So I can go ahead and write the numbers in front of the column that we're rounding to because it's not a 9. So 5 rounding up, so this is an 8, and we preserve the size of the number. We add in our placeholder. So another example, basically just slightly bigger. So once again I'm going to write out this each time. We could ask you to do this one to four significant figures as well, but we just haven't. Right, so to one sig fig, that's significant, that rounds up. Three is going to be a four, and we're in the tens of thousands here, so we've got to preserve the place value. Two sig figs, we're looking at the second significant figure, which is seven, which means round to this column. It's not a nine, so it's very safe for me to write this three. Eight rounds up. So this is now going to become an 8 as well. And I preserve the place value. Three significant figures. Oh, I forgot the two. So that's not a 9, so I can go ahead and write these numbers. Is this going to round up or down? It rounds up, so that's going to become a 9. And we preserve the place value. So if this is your wage, you could say, oh, that's roughly 40,000. Probably would. If you, if you want to just seem like you had a bit more. Uh, but you may just say, oh, I'm 38,000. You probably wouldn't say 37,900. It's just a bit weird. You definitely wouldn't say, oh, I'm 37,852 and 26 pence, for example. So we normally round it up to a number that suits us. Okay, so let's have a look at one with the decimals. So I'm, I'm just going to, I don't want to write this out three times. So the first significant figure is not this one because it's, these are zeros. The first significant figure is a non-zero. So we're rounding to that column. First sig fig. So, <coughs> so excuse me, look next door to the 8. That rounds up. So this is going to become a 4. And we can write all of these zeros in front. 0 0.004. Um, the only time I wouldn't go ahead and write these zeros is if this was a 9. Okay, so two sig figs, we are looking at the second significant figure, which is an 8, because the 3 is the first. 1 is going to round down, so we can write down everything in front of this 8, so 0 0.003. The 1 is rounding down, so that means the 8 stays the same. Now, what you'll notice I haven't done this time, is I haven't put the 0, 0, 0's, because there's no need to preserve a place value here. For the others, if I didn't, I'm massively reducing the size of the number. Like I can't say 37,852 is roughly 4. You can see there's a need. When you come to this one, if I was to put, I'll just write them and I'll get rid of them, three of these, I haven't actually changed the size of the number. It just looks really wrong. So we don't bother putting them because there's, they're just not necessary. So after a decimal point, there is no placeholders just before. So to three significant figures, let's do this mouldy green looking colour. So we're rounding to this column. That's not a 9, so let's write everything down in front. So 0 0.0038. 5 is telling me to round up, so the 1 becomes a 2. And I don't add the 0 because it doesn't change the size of the number. And there you have it. So that's three examples now. Hopefully you're really starting to get the idea. Another type of question you can be asked is... So... We've got a number, 38,000. This could be a whole range of numbers, but it's been rounded. And the question is, to how many significant figures? So basically, you just have to count the non-zeros. So you can see it's been rounded to this column, and these are all placeholders. So this would be the first significant figure. This would be the second. So this has been rounded to two significant figures. You know, this this could be a variety. It could have been 38,000 and then have a 1 here or a 0 here, a 2 here, a 3 here or 4 here. Or this could have been a 7 and I had a 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 here. 
so many possibilities, but it doesn't matter. It's just been rendered to two significant figures. So for this one, you can see, ah, here's we have a zero placeholder. So that's the column they rounded to, and that would be the third significant figure. It's as simple as that. So time to practice. And like I said at the start, this is going to be the most common type of rounding now. So you won't round to decimal places as much anymore. It will start to become significant figures. Really important you make the switch.